Hello and welcome to the next installment of uh, the boys playing disc golf. That's right. I'm excited. You got Daniel on this card. It's gonna be a good round. Nathan, you're on this card, repping that truth. Uh huh. And look oh, yeah. at you making putts in the wood. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. I'm very excited. We decided to uh, step up our uh, qual our production quality. Let's read some of your stats here, Nathan. Okay. Spirit Animal Pippin. One sponsored by C1 Putt. That's sponsored amazing. by El Rey. Oh. And I'm excited. Spirit Animal Panda. <laughs> Max 180 feet. Oh, That's yeah. gonna be a tough one for you. And Dan oh, here. Oh man. He is the liger. He does care too much. <laughs> and I deserve reference. Okay, so hole one, par three, 300 feet, dead straight shot. You know, this is a great starting hole. Really just a backhand mid-range is the play. Straight up the gut, really good tester starting hole. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really want to just get this first hole to start off. Yeah, so, it's a huge, good starting hole. Huge confidence booster. And Daniel goes really straight. He drifts a little to the right. I mean, in, inside, that's, giving a putt. That's good. Probably like, what, 30 feet? Yeah, 30 right feet. Right in the circle. You're throwing your truth here. Mm-hmm. You're, you're liking how that thing's been flying so far. Turns a little bit. And it just drifts. Wow. And it, it slides out. out perfectly. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was oh, some good oh, slide. That, that was career. amazing. I think I'm going with uh, an H2V2 here. A little understable. Interesting choice. Trying to get... You know, I, I just think I need to club up for you guys. I like it. You're just going for the ace run, but... Does it flip? Oh! And it pops out there. I thought that was a goner. Because I was breathing the whole time. Oh, I was oh, really so close. <laughs> this was a really tricky putt for me. I mean, I was probably 20 feet. Um, maple range. But mm. there's just this branch right in front of my face. So, I feel like I need to go mm. around it and I just... I leave it all right. That's, that a, that's a tough started putt. Like, I know. And I, I've got even a longer putt to come mm. back. And there's oh, there was some nerves man. there. When it hit the cage, Absolutely. I did not think it was coming in. I didn't think it was either. And Daniel's looking at a birdie here to start off his round. See if he can convert. And he wow. does. Catches the back birdie. cage. Wow. And he puts it in with authority. He does not play. And you just have a tap in. All right. That's the putts I like to make. Mm. You are one for one mm. from that range. That is good. <laughs> All right, hole two. We got an easy, uh, easy hole, par three, 210 feet. Not too far, uh, but this downhill is pretty tricky. It's a narrow gap, and you do not want to oh. end up in the right. The right is extremely tricky. It's a cliff down mm -hmm. there, uh, and even if you land up to the left, your your disc could catch and roll down. I've seen that happen a few times. And Daniel just goes ahead and Daniel, throws. I missed it, so I guess you can throw again. And he, uh, yeah, I, I, I missed the shot, so I guess, I guess he can throw again. It doesn't count. <clears throat> but I think he's uh, he's up on the hill somewhere. What are you going with here? Vendetta. Hmm. Why did you? I mean, the putter is the play, and I didn't have my judge, but I just threw it too far. Yeah, it Not I think it holds vendetta. that line for you. It did. I mean, if you, if you had 100 more feet behind the basket, I mean, you'd be fine. Yeah. But that thing just drifted on you. I think I'm throwing my AVR X3. I, I've been liking how it's throwing. Oh, I just pulled it. Um, that thing. It went up on the hill, and so I'll, I'm right there where Daniel is. So we're just gonna lay up and take a par, hopefully. Daniel oh. kind of gives it a run. That was a good run. Yeah, lights nice part. Yeah. Runs yeah. straight by the basket. Just for fun. And I, I'm, I want to make this. It's uphill. Yeah. Mm. But you know, it, that, those uphill. Uh, I got you. Come from uphill putts. This are, took about. Oh wait, did I even find that? Oh, I did find that one, yeah. Yeah, that, that took a long time yeah. to find. That was um, very hidden. It was very hidden. Yeah, I was kind of glad we had footage. Yeah. Um, green disc and some green foliage, <laughs> not the best. Not a good combo. But I mean, you were already 50 feet past the basket. Mm-hmm. And Such caught time foliage. And with a putter. I mean, you could have went for that. That was a par frame, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. All right, par three, 250 feet. You know, this is really just a dead straight shot, putter, mid-range. 
whatever you're comfortable with, but you do not want to go right. There's a huge cliff, and mm -hmm. if you're down there, is game over. And Daniel plays a safe shot. Um, the left is okay. I mean, yeah, it's not bad not. over there. You want to get around uh, that initial shrubbery, uh, and I think he's he's fine. He'll be putting. And you you hammer this throw. This looks like an ace run. That is beautiful. And it just lands Gosh. right by the basket. You are dialed in with I that am, park I'm job. I'm starting real well. Oh. Did you not finish that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spoilers. And I I would just I'm just trying to do the same. I saw you two nail this gap and oh, just top me the throw. Even far. That's my rock three mm. DX. And you just Gosh, tap in your birdie. Down. Let's he's like, go. I, I can't even wait for Daniel to find his disc. And he's a long putt and he <laughs> oh makes it. Oh my gosh! I love his God, he made that. That was insane. Yeah, let's run that back. What a putt. I mean, that was probably 40 feet. Yeah, that was circle. And he too. runs it down just the way he Trigger would like a Liger. Liger <laughs> style. Then. And I think I have about 25 feet for this putt. Just want to kind of match wow. what Daniel did. Dude, yes. great birdie. That's a, that's a good putt. The that's $25. The <laughs> and that's a star frame. Star frame, all right. $25 awesome. to... Uh, Grace to you. To burn. <laughs> no, they have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> to Alex and Kelly's uh, home fund. Yes, fun. this is to Alex and yeah. Kelly. All right, hole four. It's a par four. It's a long one. Uh, this is some old footage, uh, but it looks pretty much the same. You're going dead straight, uh, and then it takes a huge turn to the left. You want to throw an overstable disc to let it skip up around this uh, sewer, sewer hole. And the hole is actually up to the left and not where it is right now, probably 50 or so feet up the hill. Yeah. Now I've seen some good drives and I've seen some bad drives. Mm -hmm. You definitely want to hit this oh. initial gap. And it looks like Daniel Why? goes super high oh, and no. he just goes straight through. I almost killed somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you're going with your escape. And just... Just a shank. Hey, it's, a, it's a tough shot. You have, I mean, that disc is really flippy. Yeah. You're we trying to give it uh, less power, and that's usually what happens. Oh, that was I that was am hilarious. not sure what I'm throwing here. I think I threw a, a gator just to kind of get up there and let it stable up. You just need to pitch up to get to the landing mm -hmm. zone. That's all you can do from there. Really, it's really Daniel. Nothing to do. Daniel is buried. And he, does he get out? Does an amazing That's out. That's a great out. A little pinch on the left side. Definitely did not want to do that, but he had to. Mm -hmm. Throw that power to get out of there. And he goes with a Thunderbird here. And he this. pulls it. Mm. I think this that's the tough, tough part. That's the tough part about this hole is it's just narrow the entire way. Mm -hmm. It really is. I mean, 511 feet is not a long par four by no means. No, this is super tight. But you just want to, you want to stay in the fairway. Uh, I mean, my shot was in the fairway and I barely got there. And you're pitching up for that's, your... That's Dan. And Daniel's pitching up for his fourth shot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And so are you and you guys get by the basket. And that's not an easy shot. No, they're all tough shots. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was a floppy. Yeah, I land behind that huge shrubbery and I just had Man. no, that was my only look I've had at birdie in a while. And tough hole. All right, 05, par three, 246 feet. This is a tough one. I mean, you, you have to hit the gap, obviously, but then you have to have it get up the hill to the left. And that's really hard to get way up that hill, especially with all these guardian trees. So. You know, popular play is just to uh, have an overstable disc, kind of do the work for you, but even then, it's not going to get all the way up there. And you throw, what is this? I think that was an A1. A1 just, and skied it. Yeah, very uh, bad. I mean, you really do want to get some height on it. Like, Daniel's throw is okay, but it's not going to get up there. It's not going to get there, yeah. You need some close. height on your disc to get up there. It's not the best hole design. No, I mean, it's not. there's no way you're going to park this hole. It did. At all. You're either gonna go yes. long, good uh, shot. and I am just lucky that that thing's looking really good on this brain. And what is this? I'm looking to. Park. You're giving us your game plan here. Uh, I think so. I wonder what I'm saying. Probably know that I suck. Love these moments. You just here we go. Understanding Keep Nathan's mind, <laughs> the zit inside, inside the mind. It should be our next video. And mine landed there about 40 feet. Just kind of give That's it a bit. Typical. Mm. And you wanted this. This was, I think, actually, uh, I'm not sure which stroke that was. I'm not sure. I think that was my par shot. That was my third. Yeah, it looks like we're all just kind of pitching up there and just trying to 
I guess it's a bogey. Yeah. Yeah. So you bogey that. Um, it's tough when you go in left early. Yeah, it's tough to get out of there. Oh, my hand was definitely in the way. And Daniel and I cart some pars. The whole six, par three, 294 feet. I absolutely love this hole. Yeah, it's a good hole. It's definitely a forehand. I mean, you can throw a back hand in hyzer, but it is a tough shot. But literally, you just have to hit your line with your forehand. Uh, it's not a hard shot by any means. Uh, the hole is not down there. It's the old position. It's out by the white stick that you saw before, and you throw your A1 dead straight. Mm -hmm. And the trick about this through. hole is you actually can't push it too far. You have to let the disc fade back. Yeah, yeah. And Dan throws, I think, a king here, made by West Side, and it starts fading, but it catches some foliage, and I think it slams him down early. And I love oh, this disc yes. for this hole. Oh, that's money. My FD3. It's tough to get it to yeah. carry all the way with the FD3. It kind of wants to die out on you over stable, but it works still. works good. Daniel gives us a bid. And he oh. goes long. That's going to be a tester. It is. And you have a downhill putt yourself. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, make? Oh, Just a little higher. I know. That's all I needed. It was online. That's a tough shot to want to get high because you don't want to get it too high. I mean, I, I just saw both of you miss and I just no I was scared. Didn't give it enough height at all. No chance. Daniel's coming back for his par and he oh, air no. balls it again. I mean, this is that's, some stuff that's that, tough. We only see this happen oh, from no. Alex, right? Oh, no. <laughs> no. And, no. And what just happened there? That what just happened? No, man. Just goes straight through the hole. That's not, that's not important. I mean, you guys can tell us, was that a spit out that was, or that was did I just miss? And now I, that was a spit out. All right, hole seven, par three, 271 feet. It's a good hole. I like the, the forehand play, maybe a little flex, but you're gonna see Daniel to go to the backhand Anheuser. It's a pretty tough shot because it's uphill, uh, but really, if you, what's going on? This looks different. Yeah, this is different. This okay. is definitely All right, old. So it's more to the right that this just looks so different, but yeah. Yeah, Very probably similar. just to the right of the basket where, where it was. But still up the hill, and I, I go with the forehand mm -hmm. Anheuser. Just wanted to flex back. Um, I love the creativity that you can have on the soul. Mm -hmm. You really do whatever, and you, you crank an A1. Mm -hmm. You didn't like this out of your hand. But just a little high, but it was pretty good. It worked out great. Daniel loves this play. He goes with it all the time, and you just need to keep it to the left and trust the disc that'll flip over. You cannot force that. I end up well short. I mean, I'm going half go maybe, but it's not going to make it. It's really interesting to see um, all these uh, changes to that really made yeah. this course. I, yeah. I do like how the the basket is now though on this hole. Mm -hmm. Was it good. Definitely made more sense. I mean that. The other position would, would have lended more of itself to a backhand play, but this yeah. kind of opens it up to mm -hmm. some creativity. Is your birdie putt? It is. This will get you make, good. Gotta make. You oh, gotta make it. Man. It, it wanted to come out. Yeah, those flops on the stuck. basket. And Daniel, I mean, after that meltdown on the last hole, yeah. comes back with a really confident putt. That's good. Uh, he's it's, only one over. Yeah, yeah. He's still in it. Cards is par after going uh, in. We got a hole eight, we got um, a par three, a really straight shot. You got a Mando on your right. You just gotta tunnel it straight through. I mean, that gap is really small. And you show us how small that gap is by piercing it with that vendetta. <laughs> the only thing I can use to pierce it. Daniel goes with a comment and he goes oh, no. early, which is a common mistake. I mean, you don't want to push it right. And I'm hoping just to hit the gap. And it gets to the initial yeah. gap, and it looks good. Pierced it. Wow. No big deal. That is so parked. Five, away, five feet away? Five feet away. Not even. And Daniel, I mean, you see how pinched it is back yeah. there. You just have to pitch out. Basically a guaranteed bogey. Guaranteed bogey, yep. He gives us a go. It run, but... And you just landed right short of the creek. Mm -hmm. It's not bad not at all. a bad place. A little... Yeah. Good a little safe. Run. Good safe run, I mean. Daniel Karts is bogey, and you're looking to get your par, and hopefully I don't miss this for the birdie. And that'll put us tied. Yeah. This is a close wow. race going in. 
to hole Jeez. number nine. Hole nine. All right, we're in and out the back nine, par three, 241 feet. Again, just a dead straight shot. Just a little fade at the end is fine. Really just don't want to be right. If you're left, you still have some looks. But if you're right, guarantee both. The hole is probably about, what do you say, 15 feet over? Yeah, 15 feet over. Yeah. It's a little more woods now, but pretty similar shot to this. You just want to put some, I'm just trying to put something out there and let it fade back. Mm -hmm. So I grab my AVR X3 and hoping to do that. Oh, and it just yeah, drifts on it. I'm shocked yep. at that. That's so weird. Now you could you could have seen you saw that little blue band off to the left and mm -hmm. I wanted it to fade back, but it didn't. You get your truth and you're just ready to park this thing right here. Ready. Here. Come on. And it is on a frozen rope to the basket. Pretty good. It's great. But it's a tricky shot because you want to crest that hill, hill, but you don't want to turn your disc over. Mm. And that's a common mistake. Uh, you you don't want to throw it straight into the ground. And it is. Ah, here we go. Uh, Daniel is really lucky that thing flopped through. Because mm -hmm. if you're in there, that. <gasps> and he oh, run. almost made a birdie out of that. That's crazy. That would have been insane. You're looking at your birdie. Come on. Oh. Airball it. That's not good. He can have some putting woes on this. No. It looks like we're all just gonna try to clean up our pars. Hopefully. You make good on your par. I make good on mine, but Daniel is actually still away. And we'll see his putt in a second just to see if he can save his par after that great run mm. comes up Damn. short. I mean, you gotta be thinking, he's probably has hole number seven in his head. Yeah. From when he blew up. Definitely. All right. Here are the scores. Me and Stephen tied at one under. Daniel's at three over, but still a good round. And we'll just Come have to see how the back nine is. Yeah. We'll see y'all then.